my darlings, welcome back to another episode of A Chronicle Life, where I will be teaching you guys and showing you guys how to make gluten-free banana bread. I'm a huge fan of banana bread. I probably make banana bread once every two weeks. So, um, today we'll be learning how to make a gluten-free, a little bit of a healthier option as well, because we will be using honey instead of sugar and we'll be using a dairy-free alternative for milk, as well as omitting butter um, and dairy, which I already said butter is also dairy. So no butter, no oil, uh, and no real dairy. So if you guys are um, fans of healthy alternatives, I think this one's for you guys. If you guys are celiac uh, or gluten sensitive, this is also for you guys. If you guys just like to explore better options or healthier options or just are just adventurous with your food this is for you as well so i hope you enjoy and let's get started all right my darling so first things first are the ingredients and i will add a photo with uh with specific ingredients so that you guys know there's one ingredient that we do have to um alter before we can use it and that is oats so we will be needing three cups of um, old-fashioned oats. I like to use this brand um, mostly because they're already gluten-free um, and because they're just a little bit of a cleaner healthier option uh, but the thing is before we get to use this we have to put it in the food processor and turn it into oat flour or you can just buy uh, oat flour already made and use two and three quarter cups of oat flour um, if you want to make it yourself and just save uh, on um, buying a whole bag of oat flour if you don't really cook a lot with oat flour or bake a lot uh, this would probably be the, your best option because you probably already have oats hanging around the house actually any kind of uh, oats would work this is just my preferred brand so let's grab three cups of um, uncooked rolled oats and let's put them in the food processor and turn them into flour processor we're going to first combine all the dry ingredients which would be the oat flour baking soda baking powder cinnamon I already added the salt in here because I used because I used Himalayan rock salt so I wanted it to go ahead and uh, turn it to powder so the salt is in here I'm going to go ahead and pour the oats in here okay and, um, and the other ingredients as well. Once we have all of the dry ingredients in here, we just want to gently mix them. Just I'm just gonna use a spatula. I just want them to all be combined in here uh, because next we're going to combine all of the wet ingredients and then we're going to pour these dry ing ingredients into the wet and gently mix again. So we want to make sure that the baking soda and the baking powder and the cinnamon are all evenly uh, distributed amongst the flour so that we don't have some parts of the bread that don't have any cinnamon or, you know, just to make sure that it rises properly, properly as well. So.
out my darling. So I have my mixture already. Um, wet and dry, dry ingredients are all mixed already. Um, and now what it's left to do is, um, first of all, make sure that your oven was or is preheated to 350 degrees and coat. Now we have to coat our loaf pan with oil and flour, hopefully gluten-free, or if you don't mind um, using butter to coat your pan, you can also do that. I also like to just cut some parchment paper and lay it down in the, in the pan so that it's easier to take out. The bread is, it just kind of slips out when you flip the pan over after it's cooled down. Um, so whichever one of those three you prefer, go ahead and do that. And when you're done, go ahead and pour your mixture into your loaf pan and put in the oven for 55 minutes. Um, I did notice the first time I made this specific bread was that it did cook for about an hour and 10 minutes, but it might be uh, because of the difference in ovens. So I would say at around 50 minutes, go ahead and uh, check on your bread. I would insert a toothpick all the way down if you can and take it out and see if it comes out dry. If it comes out and there's still batter in it, that means other bread needs to cook a little bit longer. You could also uh, stick it with a butter knife and if it comes out clean, that means it's uh, done. If not, uh, then leave it in there for a little bit longer. Um, so yes, um, set a timer for 55 minutes, check on it around 50 minutes, and if it's not cooked by the 55 minutes, then I would say leave it in a little bit longer. It just depends on the type of oven that you're using. Um, so yeah. So there you have it. That is our gluten-free oat flour homemade banana bread. And um, I also saw a video. I'm gonna take it a little try. That's really good. I saw a video where someone added, I don't know about you, I'm a huge fan of Nutella. But when I found out all the ingredients that are in Nutella, I stopped it, but thankfully, this lovely brand, Barney's, has an almond butter, a chocolate almond butter that is so similar to Nutella, you would not even believe it. So I actually saw a video uh, of a lady making this recipe or um, a picture, and she added some of this to her banana bread. She, she added it as a spread. And I can't let you guys go without trying it first and seeing how it tastes. So, you know what? That's not even enough. So let me just get some more. <laughs> Let's see. Ooh. I'm very excited about this. All right, there's the other. So excited. Sounds like my neighbor's excited too. <laughs> All right, let's see. Banana bread, gluten-free, with chocolate almond spread. Hmm.
this is amazing, you guys. You have to try it. The chocolate almond spray spread it tastes great on here, but the bread itself with just butter, even if it's like vegan or dairy free butter spread on it, it's also so good. You're not missing out on anything if you just eat it plain. I, I could eat this plain all day long. So, um, tell me what you think. If you guys, if you try it, leave a comment. Let me know what you did. If you altered it, if you made it, um, not gluten free, if you made it vegan or made it the eggs, flax eggs for the win, let me know. And don't forget to like, share, and subscribe. And I'll see you next time on another episode of Chronicle Life. Bye, my darlings.